Hey everybody, it's Tyler with Tyler Talks Travel Trailers. I hope you're having a great day. I got a super cool unit for you today. It's a, a destination trailer. It's going to be the Catalina 283 Epic. This thing is epic. It has some really cool features to it. Just a completely different floor plan than I'm used to seeing. We don't get a lot of destination trailers here in New Mexico. So I'm excited to go through this with you and show you uh, the new 2025. So we'll go, uh, well, I'll do the specs on the outside and show you that first. And then we'll come inside and, uh, and I'll tour the inside for you. So let's get into it. Awesome guys, so some of the basic specs on this 283 Epic. The length is 35 feet, six inches total to the balcony in the back. Uh, your width is eight feet, your height is 11 feet, two inches, including the AC. Your dry weight is 7,405 pounds. The cargo, uh, amount of cargo you could put in it is 1,500 pounds, which brings your loaded weight to 8,900 pounds total. And then your tanks, your freshwater tank is going to be 44 gallons, your gray water tank is going to be 44 gallons, and your black tank is 30 gallons. So that's kind of some of your basic specs. Now let's tour the inside. All right, so we're going to be walking in through this door. Uh, the main door is in the back. This is just a separate door. That way when the slide is in, you could still get to the bedroom. If you're pulling over or anything like that and you need to get to the restroom or the, the bedroom, you can get to it and not have to put your slide out. And you can also get to the bathroom this way, which just makes it really easy when you're going down the road. So let's go inside here. So here is the main room. Let me make sure I'm zoomed out all the way. All right. So this is the main bedroom. This Epic will sleep roughly four. So mainly it's for two people, but if an occasional couple come along, it will accommodate that, which I'll show you. So right off the bat, you got the bed. Let's see if you got storage underneath, you do. So you got a little storage down here. And then you got these cabinets right here for all of your clothes. You got the hanger right there. You got the storage up top. I'm super excited to show this to you guys. It came yesterday and I was gonna do a video, but there is a giant uh, power outage, like 25 uh, power lines or something with the phones and internet have gone down. So I haven't been able to do anything. So I have to go home and upload it, which is a pain. So this is fresh on the lot. It literally just got here yesterday. This is kind of my first time seeing the inside in detail and it is very unique for sure. Uh, in the back, you got these nice cubbies to put your phones or drinks, whatever you want. And then they do give you nice uh, USB-C ports and USB ports right here for your cell phone. These will run off the battery and then your wall plugs right here. You got the main door with the window and the shade that'll come down and then you also have that window right there which is your emergency exit that will open. Uh, you got two lights right here and then two on top and they turn off individually so you don't have to have them all on. So the bedroom's pretty standard, uh, just like most of the Catalinas. They're built really well and they show really well. So nice bathroom or bedroom. If we back up right here, this is where you come into the bed uh, bathroom area. Let me open this door. All right. So good size bathroom. I always like to say there is wiping room. You don't have to have your legs hanging out the door just to wipe. <laughs> um, I do like when they put this middle uh, bathroom because you know if you have company or something in the, to the left and you need to take a shower or anything, you can actually shower here and then go into the room and change, which is nice. Nice big pan, uh, cabinet right here. It's not super deep. Um, goes to my forearm, maybe even my wrist, a little past my wrist, so it's not super deep. Um, but you could definitely fold, roll up some towels in there, things like that. Another little cabinet right here. 
the toilet is not porcelain on this one. You can always upgrade to a porcelain, that's not a problem. Most people do anyway. And then if you come over here, try not to move too fast to make you sick because this is a tight area. So you got your medicine cabinet. Man, it's not too hot right now. It's really nice. Usually I'd be sweating in the mirror by now. Not sweating yet. Let's see if I can get this done in one shot so I'm not dying. Uh, there is your sink. Sink area. That's a good size. It's not too small. You got a, your outlet right there. And then down here is probably your plumbing. Yep. So your plumbing and another cabinet. And then we'll take a look at the shower. It has the nice corner shower. Um, usually the corner shower gives you a lot more room. And then they give you the dome up top so that way you could have more head space. So not bad. Plenty of room. Especially with that dome up there. Yeah, not bad. So there's your bathroom and your main bedroom. We're going to slowly work our way to the back, which you need to wait for. It is awesome. It's what makes this trailer epic. <laughs> epic. All right, so let's go back out here. There's your bedroom, bathroom as you walk out. And we shut this door. Here is kind of another pantry right here. You got storage up top and then another one right here and then another one right here you got here's where you operate your your AC and then you got another plug right down here so as we go to the left I'm slowly keeping the back out of view because it's gonna be sweet you got a nice big pantry right here tons of storage space that's huge this one is big so it's all the way to my shoulder I should start bringing a tape measure I'll, I'll probably do that because that doesn't make any sense I'm measuring my arm you guys don't know how long my arm is but it is a good size plenty of space to store your snacks things like that and then we'll keep working our way back. Wait till you see the epic view. Here is the fridge. I do want to point out all of the appliances in these Catalinas are GE, which is obviously a really good appliance to have. You got your fridge, you got your microwave, you got, uh, let's see, is this? This is GE, your oven, as well as your air conditioner. So all GE appliances, very nice quality, not random stuff. So this is a 12 volt fridge. I would prefer, prefer 12 volt over gas electric. It just cools so much faster. I just plugged it in and you can feel it already getting cold. So it cools much faster than the gas electric and you also get a deeper fridge because you don't have all that stuff in the back for the gas electric fridge. So very good size fridge, separate fridge and freezer. And if we come right here, you got your oven that I was just pointing out. This is the smaller one than the ones you've seen me post on the Flagstaff. Uh, they're not as tall, but you could definitely fit like a pizza in there. So you can move this down too so you can get a little more space. Some nice lighting. These do have pilots, so you don't have to, you know, light it with the lighter. Two, three top burner it's flush too when you guys go look around at trailers keep an eye out for this nice flush oven because I've heard horror stories about the ones that kind of come up um, they're not even with the surface and I've heard of people you know spilling boiling water things like that this just holds up a lot better uh, all your pots and pans the last thing you want to do is be camping and then drop a freaking hot boiling water on your foot so Here's your microwave. And then you got your exhaust fan that will lead outside. Here is the sink, nice big sink. You 
big enough for a plate. Like I always say, if it doesn't fit a plate, that's going to be a pain for you whenever you're out camping. If you, once you start doing dishes for the whole family, it's going to be a pain. So get a big sink. You'll thank me later. Look for that. This is cool. It's a cup cleaner. Uh, so you just stick it on there, you know, like at the bars and stuff or restaurants. You stick it on there and it'll clean it for you. That's kind of a cool feature. They already give you the paper towel roll rack. Up here, you got some more storage, you know, for plates, things like that, cups. I love the colors they put in these, the nice gray colors. I'm colorblind, so I'm probably wrong, but it's gray, I'm pretty sure. Then down here, you got some more drawers. Nice wood drawers. All right. So yeah, there's kind of your cooking area. All that good stuff, your fridge, your oven. Now, if we go over here to the left, you got a nice big U-shaped dinette. Love this dinette. Plenty of space for the family to get around. The poles, I sometimes complain about the poles, but these aren't bad. You could still fit people nicely in this dinette. So it's, it's really tough when these two are really close together, then you're not really gonna fit anyone. But this one has plenty of space to get around, play a board, board game, eat dinner, things like that. You got the nice shades. And then this converts to a bed also. So all you got to do is take these two poles out and then the table just falls onto these little tabs right here. And then you just put the cushions on there and you could sleep another two people. Uh, they give you some nice little um, baskets to store stuff in right down there. And then you also got storage down here too. You could take the cushion off if you want and get to it from the top as well. Oh, sorry about that. So really nice living slash cooking entertainment area. Really nice, plenty of space. This is where the slide is. So you can see because it's framed out right there. Now, I'm about to show you what makes this thing epic. It is so cool, different than anything you've seen. You saw the preview in the beginning, so you know what I'm gonna talk about. But look at that. How awesome is that? I love it. Like, I could imagine myself being out at the lake, uh, family all out there on jet skis or something like that. You got all the windows open. You got curtains on this side. You got a 270 view of the whole outside. How freaking awesome is that? So unique, so different, and a lot of fun. Look at that. Freaking awesome. So right when you come into here, you got this nice bar stool area. So not only are you getting that U-shaped dinette, but you're getting this nice sitting area for some for other people, you know? I could really imagine like a family in here just hanging out. You got uh, the f two people here and then the family over here. Plenty of space. These bar stools are really nice. Plenty of leg room to actually sit there. This part of the shelf comes out far enough. Sometimes they don't make it far enough and it's kind of awkward with the chairs. So really nice bar stool area. And then right here, you got the nice theater seating. Really nice. These do recline. Uh, they're the electric ones. So you just push the button right here and then it has the USB ports right here. And then you got cup holders and all that good stuff. So really nice area, so fun. I don't think this thing's gonna last on a lot long. Just absolutely stunning. 270 view of where you're at. Imagine being in the woods, like deep into the woods and, and you have all of these windows and it's dark out. You're watching a movie, kind of creepy. You look out and you just see the deep forest instead of a truck yard. <laughs> but just super cool. I, I would love this at night. 
you just look out into the forest, kind of creepy, spooky. I always talk about it. I love Oregon. I love the Oregon coast. I love that moody kind of rainy weather, the, the fog. I could just imagine sitting right here and then just looking out and just seeing the spooky forest or the ocean. So I love this. I hope we get more of these. They're super fun. Uh, we're going to get more destination trailers. I, this is the first one I've ever seen in person. I've been selling these for seven years. The, they just don't bring destination trailers a whole lot to New Mexico. So really happy to have that. Next thing I want to point out is I mentioned TV. Where the heck is the TV? Can't be without a TV and have theater seating. And what am I going to watch? I, like all I have is a window right here. Well, let me show you what's freaking epic about this. That is not a sunshade or a, a curtain. Check this out. It's got a freaking projector. How cool is that? So it'll even hook up to USB. So all you have to do is put, you know, your iPad or something right there. And then you stream the movie onto the screen right here. You got a little movie theater in the back. So how awesome is that? Like when I was talking about being in the woods or in the, in the, on the Oregon coast with that foggy, gloomy weather, and you go put on a spooky movie, and then you have the background right here with, with all of the forest, I just think that's awesome. That'd be so fun. Like me and my girlfriend would love this setup just because of this TV area with the balcony. So really cool. It's epic. This whole thing last quarter of the trailer is it makes the trailer it's super fun totally different uh, i love it so yeah you got the projector right here and then you got uh the screen right there i only have five percent left hopefully my gimbal doesn't die okay let's try to hurry so yeah i love that super awesome super epic now let's go to the last half which i freaking love all right you just imagine yourself you're out on the coast you got the ocean the waves crashing down you look out open this door you just come out boom to an awesome view and you get to relax out here you get to come out here in the morning have your coffee relax enjoy the view you and your significant other right here super fun so it does have that balcony, plenty of space. I'm right by the freeway, so hopefully you can still hear me. How awesome is that? So cool. We're gonna have so many people stopping. They're not even gonna be interested in a trailer. They're just gonna be like, I wanna look at that. My gimbal's a little crooked. Sorry guys, let's see. All right, I don't have a lot of power, so let's keep going. So really cool back patio, I love it. Walking right into this nice entertainment area with the projector. You got your bar stools. You got the nice U-shaped dinette. You got the nice big fridge. You got the nice big closet pantry. You got a nice big bathroom with a shower, corner shower, plenty of wiping room, and then a really nice place to come and relax at the end of the day. I love this floor plan. So... We'll jump on the outside again this is the 283 epic and you see why they call it epic super fun i love showing trailers like this more than the standard just normal tow behind i hope you guys enjoyed it so let's go outside there's not a whole lot to this on the outside but oh man i love this and it's not super long either it's still only 35 feet six inches so you can actually take this to most parks you know it's usually when you're over 36 then it gets a little hairy so like i said the main entrance is in the back this is kind of the in case the slides in so you could just fold these steps up and put the bar in if you want so we'll come up here this is absolutely incredible that they're doing this on this price point it has auto level you just hit a button hit a button on this boom five minutes it levels itself you don't have to do anything. So super handy. Get yourself camping faster. Get yourself enjoying time with your family faster. 
time is king, push a button, get to camping, auto level. You got a dual uh, propane tanks. You got the battery disconnect. So when you store it, you don't have to disconnect your batteries. Just turn that switch right there. You come back here, you got some good storage. It's got the magnets. So it holds itself up. Look at that storage. And it does have solar on the roof. Here's your solar controller. So it'll constantly keep your batteries recharged. Really nice. Be out there boondocking, watching movies on your projector. How cool is that? So good storage right there. They're putting the nice glass door. It does nothing. It's just purely aesthetic. And I think it looks great. So uh, you got outdoor JBL speakers right here. I wonder if they're on the patio too. That'd be kind of weird if there wasn't, but maybe they don't. So you got JBL speakers here. Nice, huge awning right here that'll come out. So you got the patio over here and you got the awning right here. I mean, I don't even have a family that big. I don't even have that many friends. So I promise this will work for you. Plenty of space for everyone to get around. There's your uh, water heater right here. It's a six gallon water heater. And then there's, you can see your auto level right there. You got your leash link for the dog. Um, yeah, pretty standard stuff. Overall, love this floor plan. Let's go inside real quick. That's pretty much the basics. Uh, I will say that this flooring is done really good on these Catalina versus the competition. They do 5 8 uh, inch tongue and groove flooring versus uh, uh, OSB board. OSB board doesn't do too good when it gets wet or moisture starts to hit it. Uh, it'll start to get like soft spots and things like that. So this is actual plywood and they wrap it in Darko. So they wrap it in this material to help with moisture and things like that. Uh, the flooring in this is just so much better. So definitely when you look around, make sure you're not buying a floor with OSB board. So let me put you down real quick. So I hope you enjoyed that. I did. It was really fun to show you something a little different than the standard trailer. Totally unique different than what you've seen. Uh, this is the, what was it again? I just got it, so I'm remembering. This is the first one we had. 283 Epic, the 2025. Uh, I hope you guys liked the back path. That's my favorite part. I hope I answered any of your questions. If not, leave some comments below. Like and subscribe. I'm gonna try to pump out a couple more videos today. I appreciate all your support. We're growing fast, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.